now that's not a truck coming like ooh screeching Welcome to Driving with the Fairy. I'm Javette. Nice to meet you. Nice to have you in my car. We're on our way to go and get some food. I want a cup of coffee, I think, as well. I don't know. So today we're gonna talk about the need to be liked. Now, this is something that I have a lot of experience in because hi, I'm Javette, and I used to be a people pleaser. Let's start at the root of people pleasing. Uh oh, that's not a truck coming like ooh, screeching. I think people pleasing comes from childhood it's either a lack of emotional support or like any form of trauma or physical abuse that's usually where people pleasing stems from and let me tell you where i started to learn to people please i went back home for work uh my personality seemed to get me a lot of opportunities i was very like yes ma'am no ma'am and in my culture i'm from the caribbean that's technically how we are we are we, we raised to, you know, to have manners and talk to our elders with manners and whatnot. But I found that I was the type of person to put others above myself, especially within the workplace. Like, I wasn't like a kiss ass, but I was very obedient in that sense. Like, I wouldn't question anything. I do as I, I'd been told. And that sounds like an ideal employee to you, but it really wasn't. I was just doing what I felt like others wanted me to do to get by, like, and I think when my people pleasing habits really kicked into gear was when I realized that my personality got me far. Like, I was very light, you know? I remember on multiple occasions, different jobs would tell me, like, we employed you because of your personality. Like, not even my qualifications, but my personality. And, like, throughout life, I've always been told, like, your personality is going to get you far. Um, your person Like, that would always be the review on a lot of stuff. Like, your personality is going to get you far. So, fast forward, I finish college and I start working and I'm like, all right, yeah, my personality. If I do what people like, um, they're going to like me and I'm going to get far in life. And I learned the hard way that that's not how it works. Like people pleasing brings misery. I ended up having like a few issues within the workplace, like learning work culture and all of that, all of that. Like people pleasing can get you into real issues, especially in the workplace as well. Within the workplace, no one cares about you. Like it might seem like your colleagues are your friends, but they are truly not. They are there to make their money and go home. Your colleague will put themselves above you at all times. So within the workplace, I would do stuff like put my duties behind um, because John asked me to do his duty, you know, because it's going to make John like me. And I don't know what I thought. Like, I don't know if I thought that it would increase my, I don't even, it, I knew it would increase my pay because John is my boss, you know what I mean? But it would cause me to do, th oh, shaky. Like, I just thought that it was a tool to get me further in life. So I continually did it. And then I slowly started to learn through just negative experiences that like, couldn't like getting in trouble like why didn't you do this assignment while well, i was doing john's well john has his own assignments and they're finished but yours aren't finished and that would just consistently happen to me like i didn't learn from it first second third time i learned over the years to stop people pleasing so that that happened like i didn't have success in those jobs like it was just a continuous spiral i people pleased in friendships if you're not a leader if you don't have a leader type personality or you haven't developed leadership skills people pleasing is dangerous um you could have like a super likable personality and again i think this is what happened with me i had what's described i have or had have have i have <laughs> I have what people say is a likable personality, but if you're not a leader with a likable personality and you're a follower, someone who people pleases, you tend to not be loyal. Um, I wasn't loyal because if you stand for nothing, you, you basically fall for anything. And I would do anything, like not anything, because I'm a bit of a wuss, but anything in the sense that I would agree 
even if I disagreed, if I liked someone because somebody else said they didn't like them and I wanted them to like me, I would probably agree or just things like that with people please and you think that you're gonna be more liked but in actuality when you people please you're more disliked like you stand for nothing you have no real backbone people walk all over you friends family like it doesn't matter you're not more liked you're more so taken for an idiot in my 20s that was the phase that i was in super nice girl really nice girl but just an idiot <laughs> like just a people pleasing person fast forward now i get in a relationship with my partner and he don't care who don't like him that's just jose's personality like he is so confident and that's another point confidence confidence will cause you to not people please because you are sure of yourself when you're sure of yourself you don't people please because you know that you don't you basically don't need to ask anybody for anything i'm gonna pause this because i'm gonna go inside and get some food and then we're gonna be on the road again so let's go get some food let's go I was making a point about Jose being confident. Confidence has a lot to play in people pleasing. And the more you can work on being confident, the more I worked on being confident is the more that I stopped people pleasing. And whether it's confidence in the workplace, confidence in your social groups, it's something that you have to practice. It's something that I practice. I practice it. I practiced being confident in the workplace through expanding my knowledge and really knowing my job. Because if you know what you're doing at work, you're going to be confident because you know your tasks. Why do I say that word like that? But you know your tasks. You know what to do. You know your duties. So like you don't you don't necessarily need someone's approval. I would say to start building your confidence in different areas because that's what I did. I started working on my confidence. And then um, I also pinpointed where my people pleasing tendencies came from because in order to know where you're going, you have to know where you're coming from. So I just started to like really look into myself and analyze what it is that caused me to even begin people pleasing in the first place. And then I literally just started to heal because it's not going to, it's not gonna happen overnight. It's going to require practice, time, and patience. Once you do those three, I promise you, it's going to get better. I know how it feels to people please and then be like super disappointed with yourself. Um, to make decisions that, to make decisions that you end up, I'm sorry, but the UK roads, but I know how it feels to, to want to, you know, not people please, to want to be confident, to want to just get it right. But one thing I can say that has helped me is just an internal dialogue. I now take the time to stop and think. think of this as me holding you i'm holding you my friend because these roads ain't playing they, they my phone is just vibrating i now take the time to stop and think to stop and really assess what it is that i want and to just listen to my own internal dialogue i hope it gives you some form of guidance as to how you can stop too and try not to be too hard on yourself it is a habit that you've learned and it's gonna take time to break out of it. But you can do it. I've done it, almost. <laughs> I still have times where I have to be like, oh, you really didn't wanna do that. But it's not as bad as it used to be. But yeah, anyways, I'm about to please myself and head to the gym. So love ya, talk to you later, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.